three. Hey, this is Amanda for Case TV. We are here on the grounds of the General Lou Wallace Study and Museum. Um, and in our preparations for the Taste, of course, the Taste is one of the area's major summer festivals. It's lots of good music, lots of good food, lots of good times for everyone. Uh, but this year in particular, the money that we raised for from the Taste will be going toward the study restoration. And we'll show you an example of why that is necessary. Here is the study building that General Lou Wallace built for himself in 1898. And um, it is now 111 years old, and it is beginning to have some structural issues. So let's go inside and see some evidence of that. As we're coming in, you can see throughout the room, different places, uh, we have buckets because last night we had a terrible rainstorm. We got like two inches of rain in an hour, um, very torrential. And the um, copper roof, that which is the original 111-year-old roof, has begun to leak. And so you can see the various places uh, where we experienced some leaks last night um, and into this morning. Um, over here, one of the buckets has, you can see the, the water collecting um, and even some drips sort of to the side of that where we don't quite have enough buckets at the moment to catch every single drop that's falling. We also have a little bit of plaster fall that's beginning. Um, the, the ceiling is a, a plaster. It, it is the original um, ceiling. And so as it soaks up moisture, it begins to sort of flake off. This is pretty minor, actually. Um, up closer to the skylight, you can see some of the major damage that's accrued over the past uh, couple of years. And the, the moisture continues to seep into the plaster. This is actually not just a rain thing. We were just outside. We saw it's no longer raining. But um, a few of the drips continue into this bucket, and the, the plaster will continue to soak up moisture and just flake off for several days, even after the rain stops. So you can see why this is particularly pressing this year, uh, why we want the taste to be a huge success, and um, we're hoping that we will continue to have the support of the community and that everybody will come out to raise money in the most fun way possible.